In this video demonstration we will configure Alcatel Lucent 6900 switches in ePort to ePort tunnel configuration. This is high level topology diagram on ePort setup. ePort tunnel will be created between these two 6900 switches. In this topology we have Red Hat Linux with QLogic CNA connecting through NPIV gateway and transferring files to FC storage system. Here is a high level outline of configuration steps. Create VLAN for FCOE traffic, add ports to it and define roles for ports. Finally enable FIP snooping. Create FC ports, define FC port roles, create vSAN. Map vSAN to FCOE VLAN and create eTunnel by associating FC port with FCOE VLAN. To ensure lossless gateway connectivity with FC SAN devices following configuration tasks are required for FC ports. Remember to configure PR endpoint 6900 AOS switch in the same way. This is how we can verify that eTunnel session is created between FC port 2 slash 1 and FC OE port 1 slash 26. Here is other end of eTunnel from second AOS switch. On QLogic FC switch eTunnels remote peer Cisco 5010 can be seen through port 6. On Cisco FC switch eTunnels remote peer, QLogic FC switch can be seen through interface FC2-3. Now we mount LUN3 from FC storage and transfer files to it. This LUN already has Linux file system configured. Before starting file transfer clear interface statistics from both AOS switches.
we can see that traffic is going through E-tunnel on both 6900 switches. Green and red, arrows on tunnel endpoint switches corresponds to arrows in previous segment. This concludes Alcatel Lucent 6900 e-tunnel configuration video presentation.